Hey guys, it's Jason. Hope you're all doing well. So my last video, and you'll see it down below, I went over the 2020 statistical predictions for the New York Yankees on the offensive side. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the predictions, uh, my predictions for the 2020 Yankees on the pitching side, from the starters to the bullpen. And, um, and now with Luis Severino missing the season with Tommy John surgery, which he is getting, uh, or just had actually, um, it opens up opportunities for these young players, and the Clark Schmitz and the Jordan Montgomerys, who are both coming back uh, from Tommy John surgery, who are well well on their way back, and they're maybe in their second year now, so they'll be have opportunities now to fill in some of that spots, some of that spot. And um, and even a young a young player like Mike King, who's been kind of climbing up the scale and climbing up the prospect list on the Yankees as well. So with that, let's get to the list, all right? Work our way from bottom to top. All right, closer, Aroldis Chapman. See him getting about four and two record. And a lot of these relievers will be part of decisions at some point as well. I see him at about a four four and two record, a two forty two ERA. He had like a two o. 2.02 or something like that last year. I see him still really good. Uh, this could be lower, but I think a 242 would be solid with 101 strikeouts and about 38 saves. All right. Ben Heller, another talented pitcher, kind of coming back from injury as well. You know, he'll get some opportunities. He'll be about 1-0 with a 215 year range, about 27 strikeouts. A lot of these guys will add up. They'll have spots to come in here and there, and they're young, um, and uh, they'll get plenty of opportunities. All right. Uh, Johnny Lasagna or Johnny Lasagna, um, a two and one with a four point one ERA and forty five about forty five strikeouts. He may get an opportunity to start a little bit more often because he's got a little bit more experience than at least at the major league level than Schmidt and, and Montgomery and, um, and King. But that said, you know, really, who knows? He could be a spot starter, a reliever, um, a long relief guy. We'll see. Um, they have a lot of pitching depth, a lot of pitching talent. So. Luis Sessa, see about a two and three ERA, three point uh, two and three record, three point eight five ERA, and about eighty strikeouts. Um, he'll, he'll he'll probably throw almost a hundred innings, I'm guessing. Um, Clark Schmidt, he'll get an opportunity at the major league level this year, and uh, he's been kind of working his way up. He's one of our top pitching prospects, or if not our top pitching prospect in in AAA. I see he'll have an opportunity. You know, go about four and four with a four point one ERA, get his feet wet in the major leagues with about fifty eight strikeouts. Mike King, one of their other top pitching prospects who's been climbing up the rankings as well. I see him getting a spot, getting a shot, maybe a 3-3 three three record, a 3.85 ERA, um, and 60 strikeouts. Um, Zach Britton, one of our stud relievers, seeing about two and two and two record with a 2.15 2 ERA and about 71 strikeouts. I could see him getting a couple saves as well. As well as Adovino. Adam Adovino was the next guy. You can see him getting a couple saves as well. He actually had a crazy good year too. He had a little bit of a funk for about a month, but he still had a sub two ERA. Um, Adovino. And I see him going about five and four. He's generally involved in a lot of the. Uh, he was involved in a lot of decisions, and I, I still I don't see that changing. So I see him going about five and four with a two point two six ERA and about ninety strikeouts. Chad Green. I see him going about three and two with a three point four ERA. And 102 strikeouts. This guy's like a strikeout machine. We have a lot of good um, strikeout relievers, so and a lot of good pitchers who can go three or four innings. I mean, now with Luis Severino being down, you mean you can bring in one of these guys for four innings, another guy for four innings, another guy for three innings. So and they have you know or either go to the bullpen or take the load off the bullpen. So we have options now. Um, and remember, last year we almost went to the World Series and didn't have didn't have Severino for the majority of the season. And now we have Garrett Cole and we have a bunch of guys coming back as well. So. Um, Tommy Conley, um, fan favorite, four and two record with a 3.32 ERA and about 90 Ks. Um, he's another one of those dominant right-handers in the bullpen. When he's on, he's on. He's money. J.A. Happ, I actually see him. He had a strong finish, even though he had a relatively off, off year last year. He had a strong finish for the last, you know, month or two. Uh, I see him going, picking up the slack a little bit and going 12 and eight with a 3.51 ERA and 140 strikeouts. I actually see him playing pretty well. Uh, but he'll have his moments as well. Masahiro Tanaka, Mr. Consistency. I can see him going about 14 and 8 uh, with a 3.27 ERA and 170 strikeouts. He's generally like a 12 to 14, a 15, 16 win guy around eight or you know, seven or eight losses or nine losses every year, low three ERA. He had a funk year the other year. We had a four point something ERA, but he's pretty consistent. So James Paxton, I see him coming back as well. He'll probably miss the first month after getting that cyst removed from his back. Um, but I still see him going 11 and 7 with a 3.30 ERA and 145 strikeouts. Um, let's go over here to Jordan Montgomery. 
Um, also coming back on his way back from Tommy John as well. He'll get a lot of opportunities too. I see him going about eight and six with about a four flat ERA and about 95 strikeouts. So another uh, Andy Pettit type lefty pitcher. So which I think will come in handy. So uh, Luis Severino, obviously he's out for the season, unfortunately with Tommy John surgery. Um, so we'll have to pick up in a lot of other areas. I wouldn't be surprised if the Yankees brought in a veteran starter or two or acquired one at the trading deadline. You never know what they're going to be, especially if they're in a position to, you know, go for it for the World Series. I could definitely see them bringing in somebody. And last but not least, our ace, Garrett Cole. I see him having a little bit of adjustment coming to the Yankees, but still, that said, I still see him having a dominant year. 18-8, and eight, about a 2.88 ADRA, and about 275 strikeouts. So I would take that any day, any year, any month, any, any week, any year. If he can give us a couple of years like that, or four or five or six years like that, be more than worth his contract. So, um, these are my pitching stats for the New York Yankees. And uh, if I miss anybody, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And please hit that notification if you want to see all my videos as well. Talk to you next time.